map. So we parked on Residential Street. So normally you want to get up when it's early and leave so people don't even realize you were here. We went to sleep around 10 and now it's 6 a.m. because the sun is rising. Actually, it was a random truck that was parked here and it woke us up. So now it's a good time to leave. I slept perfectly fine in the car. My husband was uncomfortable. Pee. And he really has to pee. So because we parked in a residential area, there's no bathroom. So we're going to gonna take a quick video of how much is left in the battery, how much we use camping mode, basically sleeping from 10 to 6. And you have to remember, we also, I mean, we also have sentry mode on. So that also drains about a mile an hour. So I'll get back to you and update you know, on that after we run somewhere to get coffee and use the bathroom. Bye. All right, guys. So now I'm home. Um, I get me and my husband slept in the Tesla. I was going to do an update video almost right away. But one of the worst things that we did while sleeping in the Tesla was we decided to park in a residential area because... We ate pretty late and we just want to go sleep. My husband can't hold his bladder. I don't know for anyone out there who needs to, to pee like in the middle of the night or right away. Um, parking in residential area is hard like welcome centers or camping sites. There's only a restroom but we're just parked like side street parking. So when we woke up I took a quick video of what the mileage was in a car but then we quickly packed it up and drove to a starbucks to grab breakfast so my husband can also use the restroom so we went to sleep at night with 254 miles and sentry mode is still on and it takes i think one mile an hour for sentry mode and when we woke up in the morning it was at 231 so if you subtract out probably 10 miles for the 10 hours you were sleeping, or at least in the car, <clears throat> for sentry mode, it was roughly 13 miles. So <laughs> before we went to sleep, my husband was paranoid that we were going to run low on battery. So we tried to fill the car back up. But camping mode barely used any energy, and I was surprised. So... That was nice. And then the second thing I would like to talk about is I show you where camping mode is. It's next to dog mode. The only problem is you can't turn the screen off. But when you're in camping mode, a little campfire comes up. I post that's in the beginning of the video. The little campfire is really cute. But when you're trying to sleep, if you like sleeping in darkness, the screen is on so um you can try a little hack my husband just put his shirt over it but there was just an update we just got an update to our model y i think two days ago that makes the screen go turn off so that's nice so it's actually really nice and it's warm so now with that update you don't have to worry about the screen being on either um so it was raining. It was actually really cold when we were in Rhode Island. We're in the northeast. Camping mode kept us really warm. I bought a sleeping bag. We did not need it. We were pretty hot. Um, so my advice would be probably to park somewhere more convenient. Um, I'll probably do this again. And I had a video where I went through a bunch of different um, air mattresses. The SUV ones and... I never actually linked which one I purchased. So at the end of this video, I have um, a little clip of the one I bought off of Amazon. I have gotten suggestions about getting the Tesla, the foam one that fits perfectly into the Y. But I've seen other people who've gotten it. Not only is it really expensive, it takes up a lot of space. So I do like that this one I got, if 
the air mattress blows up and then folds away. And also this one doubles up as a little lounge chair. So I'm attached that to the end and I would highly recommend it. Um, I'll probably try again to sleep in a car now that I've done it. My husband was complaining a little bit. He said parts of the bed were too firm or too hard, but really that was on us. We could have adjusted it, so we'll know better for next time. So please subscribe if you want to see more videos like this and if you want to follow my adventure about sleeping in our Tesla Model Y.